So guys, I am back with another Diablo 4 video and today guys, I bring you yet another amazing XP farm for this game. Stay tuned. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ. If you'd like to win the Ultimate Edition version of Diablo 4, make sure you are subbed, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Good luck, my beautiful people. Okay guys, so farming that XP is a must for us levelers and while today guys i bring you another dungeon which is great for this now the dungeon itself is located right here on the map let me just go to uh the world map it's called the blind burrows you can see where i'm at guys i'm right by that place there i'm not even gonna pretend to try and pronounce that shit because i wouldn't i'd just fail miserably but you can see where i'm at guys it's right here the blind burrows now what's great about this guys is is what it says there there the spiders here have acquired a taste for flesh. This place is absolutely rammed, packed, full of spiders. Now, I've just run the dungeon myself. I mean, it's a great dungeon, but what I would recommend is doing this in a party of two, three, or even four. Solo-wise, there are definitely better dungeons out there without a shadow of a doubt, but in a team-wise, this is incredible. Let's say, for instance, one goes off, one team goes off to the right, one team goes off to the left and the other one goes straight down the middle. The amount of ads, the amount of spiders, the amount of elites here are amazing. If you're doing it in a team, obviously, as you know, it's shared XP. You know this already. If any you miss any legendary, it goes straight to your stash. You ain't got to worry about that. And you can run this whole thing, guys. In a team, I'd probably say two or three minutes. Flat out, two or three minutes. Now, if you're doing it solo, it just took me 10 minutes. I timed it myself. It took me 10 minutes. I just grouped up all the ads and absolutely obliterated them. I actually ran into the boss as well. The boss is actually a fun fight. Many are spiders on the way to the boss. Many are spiders at the boss. Tons of XP. Great loot. I mean, it's a great, great farm. But like I said, it's definitely one better done in a team. Because it's just one of those. There's a few dungeons in this game that are just the layout of them is absolutely crazy. Yes, this layout may look different to yours. As you know, dungeon RNG layouts. But it's more or less going to be the same kind of thing. There's always going to be three arenas or three main rooms. And there's also going to be that room, that path up to the bus. Now, there is sometimes as well events in here. These I'll definitely recommend you doing too. It's just extra loot. It's extra XP. You may as well take them out. Now, sometimes players will be a bit slower than others if you're doing this in a team. So some players will be slower than others. So you may as well, once you've done your side, branch off and help them out. Because it's not just in these rooms, guys. It's literally every big space you're seeing here there's groups and groups of spiders the small spiders too which give you surprisingly massive amounts of xp which is wild but yeah they really do there's also slugs in here those weird fat dudes with spider claws on the back i don't know what they're called blubbering bastards i call them because they just blow up on my ass kick my ass but yeah again this room here all around here all around there just the spiders absolutely everywhere and you're seeing gameplay on screen now this in the work so yes this is a great great farm but i would recommend it and i'm going to call it actually a team farm for the solo player yes you can do this but there are definitely better spots in the entire game now what's great about this is as well i don't believe it's going to be one of these crazy dungeons we're seeing that um that one i posted earlier today there's like 30 or 40 elites in one small space that's going to get nerfed there's no two ways about it but I think this dungeon, the way it is, I think it's kind of perfect. It's perfect for a team. It's perfect for quick XP. But I don't think it's OP in regards to XP gains. Um, I think it's just about right. So I think this, I think they'll leave this alone, to be honest. I think it will be a dungeon you'll be able to farm over and over. I mean, the XP gains here, although they are great for what we are looking for, I don't think they're too over the top. So yes, guys, again, come here in a team. It's definitely a team one. And go get that XP and go get that loot, people. Again, world tier 3, world tier 4. This is going to be best on, but it doesn't matter what world tier you're on. If you're looking for fast XP, if you're looking for easy loot, it's actually a real easy dungeon too. I mean, the spiders don't really hit very hard. There's not many things in here that can one-shot you. In fact, there's, I don't think there's anything in here that will one-shot you if you build semi-average. So, yes, come get that loot, guys. But, yeah, a great, great a dungeon to farm the blind bulls located right here on the map and for those that don't know as well how to farm dungeons i'm pretty sure everyone does but if you don't guys simply run the entire dungeon clear it all out or run up to a part you want to uh back out and refarm it 
simple as this. What you want to do then, guys, is you can either press up on your D-pad. And if you're in a party, you want to leave the party. So if you're in a team, party host leaves the team. He will then spawn back outside of the dungeon. He then re-invites you all to his team. Then you just re-enter the dungeon. Everything will be reset. But if you're playing solo, you obviously just bring up, press up on your D-pad if you're playing on console. Click select leave dungeon or on your minimap, go to leave dungeon. Once you've left the dungeon, you'll spawn outside of the dungeon. Then, guys, you want to go to your main menu and go and leave the game. Once you've left the game, rejoin the game. You'll enter the game right outside the dungeon. Everything inside the dungeon will have reset. And it is that simple. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps. Ask, try it out. Let me know down below. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.